Hello? Oh, hey, Mom. Yeah, new VS Code release is out. Yeah, making the video right now. You're in it. Yes, I made my bed. Okay, okay. All right, love you too. Bye. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Clark, and you are watching the September 2019 release highlights video. Let's go check out some of the features in it. The source control view has some flexibility in how everything is displayed within it. Typically, you see all changes in a flat view, but did you know they can be organized per directory too? Well, you can, and there are keyboard shortcuts and filtering built in. Give it a try today. You know, I personally wasn't a big user of minimaps, but VS Code is slowly convincing me otherwise. The minimap view provides context as to where you are in a file, and now when you make a selection, it is reflected as a highlight within it. This gives us greater visibility when navigating through our code. Debugging is a crucial part of the development workflow, and sometimes we need to have breakpoints in a very specific location. That's where column breakpoints can help us, and now VS Code shows possible positions to add them. Add a breakpoint at the line level first, and then hover your mouse over your code to see what's available. If you write a lot of CSS, you're probably tired of adding semicolons, right? VS Code can save you from that through its property completions feature. Enable it through the complete property with semicolon setting, and you'll be good to go. This will automatically add the semicolon to the end of a line for you. Have you been using the remote development capabilities of VS Code? If you're not, you're missing out. VS Code supports opening links from the remote integrated terminal to make it easier to quickly access your running application. This is particularly useful when using SSH and you need to map a port from the remote machine to your local machine. YouTube, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that you get more content like this. Also, what was your favorite feature in this release? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.